Hello, my name is David Teagle. Um, today I'm here to talk about something I caught that, uh, that I think I should share with everyone besides my family. I have cancer. My cancer is known as, it's called um, multiple myeloma. It's a disease that they don't know where it came from. It can't be cured, but it can be maintained. Now how I got this disease is, it's kind of ironic that I, I had a severe cough for like six or seven years. And all of a sudden this cough just got real bad and was hurting my chest. And it also started hurting my back. And I was going to the hospital for it. They always told me it was bronchitis. So, 2019, I, I lost my job at uh, Pennsylvania Hospital in May. So, I didn't have any benefits. I started getting sick, I figured out uh, I had the VA as a backup. So that's where I went for this cough I had. And this was in August. I went to see the doctors, I went to emergency and told them that. Doc, I got this cough. The previous doctor told me it was bronchitis, but it's hurting, it's hurting my chest and it's hurting my back. So they thought it was the same thing. Gave me some, uh, gave me some antibiotics and gave me some pearls and said, and take these in and let's see what happens. A month later, it got worse. So I went back. Same doctor told him the same thing. It's causing it worse. Doc, you got to do something because it's really hurt. I said, okay, we're going to do an MRI. So they did an MRI. And two days later, I could say, letter in the mail. So I goes in to see my primary doctor and he tells me we found some lesions on his back and it could be cancerous. I stared at him for two seconds and says, what the F you mean I got cancer? He said, I understand Mr. Teagle and it, it, it could be a shock but I'm going to set you up with um, I'm gonna make an appointment with hematology and they could further explain. So I ain't say nothing to the doctor, I left, I came home. Didn't talk to nobody, I just went straight home, got my place, fell to my knees and cried like a baby for two days straight. I wanted to question God, but I, I couldn't because it wasn't his fault. He couldn't say, why me? I didn't want to say that, I just, uh, I sucked it up. And after I cried for two days, I said, okay, what we gonna do? We gotta figure out how to beat this. Now mind you, I just lost my job. I ain't had no benefits and I get cancer. Double whammy, <laughs> a double whammy. How you gonna survive this? Because it's a serious disease and it takes some serious health planning to, to go through treatments and everything. I ain't know what to do. I mean, I got this little whisper in my ear from God. He said, you're gonna be okay. I'm gonna put a team together for you. And listen to everything they say and do everything they ask and you're gonna be all right had a three hour session. They laid out every single thing that was wrong with me and laid out everything that they gonna do. They put a plan together. Just like God said, I'm gonna put a team together for you. So when I went there, they gave me a 10 day radiation treatment to get the mass that was in the middle of my back, it's still there, but it was tapping my spinal cord. That's how I was getting the pain in my back and in my chest. And mind you, 
while I was doing all this coughing, I broke a rib. That's how fragile my bones was. That's how, that's what this cancer do. It makes your bones fragile. I could cough hard and break a rib easy. I could fall down and crack ribs easy. They did a, my first test was, they did a, a bone x-ray. This hospital took the time and answered any and every question that I had. I was walking in one day and I was going to the doctors and I ran across the chief doctor that ran hematology. And I stopped in and I said, hello. He said, close the door. And we sat there and talked for 15 minutes. Didn't have an appointment with him. But we sat there and talked 15 minutes about what I was going through and how I was handling it. One thing for sure, two for certain, you cannot do this by yourself. And if there are people out there that's doing this by themselves, believe me, my hat is off to you. Because this is a painful thing. I have my ups and downs. I have my good days and my bad days. But I do have a good support team that helps me through this. I can pick up the phone anytime, call my sisters, call my brother, call support group. I go to two support groups and just talk with them and just vet. Vet with just how I'm feeling. Because you, know, you never know what tomorrow holds. I feel good, but any given day it can change. I have to go to Nashville to get a bone marrow transplant. And what that consists of is that they're going to, I don't have to get a donor. Thank God, again, the blessings of God. They're going to use my own stem cells. And what they're going to do, they're going to take my stem cells out and freeze them and then flush my body with pure chemo, my whole body. So my immune system will be absolute zero. So I can catch anything at any given time. It's a very serious procedure. Uh, from talking to the support people, I'm gonna be very sick. It's a 30 day recovery. So I will be in Nashville for 30 days recovering from this procedure that, that they're about to do. And uh, I'm ready for it. I'm ready for it. Cause again, I have set together a team and he told me I was going to be okay and so far that I'm okay I'm okay I'm, I'm dealing with it I'm handling it and again thanks to my, my family and my support group is this is an awesome experience from a, from something that's so tragic it's, it's, it's an experience and uh, I'm going to live through this